Good morning. Don't mind the baby. There's a purpose to the baby when he starts. Oh my god. I'm, I'm giant and blue. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. Oh. He's he's God now. <laughs> oh my god, the baby. I possess the baby. The baby. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. I don't know if I like this. this is... I've completely consumed the child now. It's gone. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. But how are you? Welcome. Doing good. Just got off the stream. All the goblins yeah. are here now. So I was saying this earlier before you jumped in the call, but I, you're my new comfort streamer. I like to hear you so-called yap is what the kids say now, okay? Um, but, yeah. I, but I like it when you yap. It's, it's very comforting. I don't know what you're yapping about because I'm not smart enough to understand what you're yapping about. However, I enjoy the sound. So and I, when I was lurking, you were talking about this self-cheese and grilled cheese, and I was like, the man cooks. <laughs> so, let me grab my cup measure. Whoa. So for bread, I do have bread flour. I actually specifically went out to get bread flour. I normally just use the AP flour for bread because I'm lazy. I think we need, need maybe two packets of dry yeast for this. Okay. And I think you'll need two cups of flour, I think in this case. Okay, so now that sense. you have that, put that off to the side. We're going to do some mm. cooking part. So Ready. do you have your beer? Yes. Beer? I'm gonna... Obtain the beer. I got the tall boys, these ones. I'm going to assume works. when you said beer, you mean a small can, but we'll just like well, cut it how short, many ounces is that? We don't work in ounces here. I literally, mm. when you gave me the recipe, everything was in ounces. And I'm just like, what the f*** is an ounce, Thor? You got to speak <laughs> like grams, bro. Like. <laughs> Let me look this up. What is the conversion of grams to ounces? That is 16 fluid ounces. So we need 12. Oh, you need 12? I, I have I have more. It's my stream now, chat. That's right. I'm going to get the beer. I'm getting it. I'll get it. Why does my hand just keep increasing in size? Why can't I get the beer? Okay, so now you need the processed cheese. This is the critical part, by the way. This is the one. If you screw this part up, it all, really all goes oh, to hell oh, after this. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm, I'm... Every part is the critical part, chat. It's all a ruse. How many slices of American cheese do you need? Each packet is 16. Grams. We need 230 grams. 14, 15, okay. 14 is good. Yeah, 14 will work. Okay. You need about a half a cup of hot water. You're going to start putting this into a pan. That's so you easy. need to get your sugar, your salt, your butter, and all of that and get that ready. Okay, <laughs> so you'll need six of sugar. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Don't pour the whole thing in. This is going well. This is you good. Saw, you saw nothing. We'll edit it out in post. It's fine. No one nothing. will know. Okay, so now you need three teaspoons of salt. Again, look at this. <laughs> what the is that? It's a huge spoon. So when I was like 16 in high school, we went to this Halloween store. You know, there's like pop-up shitty Halloween stores. Right. And right next to it was an African heritage store. And they okay. were going out of business and they sold me this spoon for five bucks. And I was like, I have to have that. Because at the time, like my spoon is too big was like the greatest meme. And I just, I've had this every, it's a spoon. It's a huge spoon. It's not an ore. It's actually used for food, but I've just had it. And it's a huge, it's like massive. Like, look at this thing. It's a spoon staff, dude. So to recap, you've got your water, you've got your beer, you've got sugar, salt and butter together, right? You can take all of that stuff, put it into a pan. So now you're going to heat that up until basically the cheese is almost melted. And you can stir it here and there to try and make sure that nothing gets stuck or, or burnt or anything like that. See how that's all like nice and together now? So what you I don't want is you don't want it to get cool enough that it forms a skin. Do you have, in your big mixing bowl, do you have those two uh, cups of flour? Yes, I do. Two packages of yeast. You're going to want to stir it up into that. Two, table, uh, two packets. That's okay. a big packet. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> it's going to be a parachute bread. <laughs> just, it's it's going to be so large. Swollen. Yeah, I didn't realize there was so much yeast in that yeast. All right. So with your cheese sauce, can you put your finger in it without it hurting you in any way? I am wearing gloves, though. Oh, wait, no. I can take my gloves off. Flesh fingers. Okay, no. Yeah, look over here, Chet. Look at this. Oh my god! Yeah. That's so <laughs> Don't worry about There's it. So Don't worry many about it. Don't look. No, it's for them. That's no, not for you. That's Don't worry about business. it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So it's enough that you can keep your finger in it and it's it's yes. not bad, right? Yes. Okay. It kind of feels like on sun water in my opinion. So I just go ahead and pour it in. Just get it all. All in. of it? Okay. Yeah, just go for it. As you're doing this, you're gonna mix in three more cups of flour while you go. And the slower you do the, the flour and the easier it's gonna be, because you're gonna get like a really shaggy loaf, but you can see how hydrated this is. Like yeah, super, yeah. super sticky. It's gonna go on everything. So now you're gonna have to put flour all over your workspace. So like on your, your cutting board there. Oh, I see, we're, we're kneading now. We're doing the kneading, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So you should be able to need that for maybe about five to 10 minutes, because you're, okay. you're trying to get it a little bit more glutinous. Should be good for that. Your dough is ready. We take this, take a bowl, butter it. Butter the whole bowl. Butter. Next part, you're gonna make yes. a stew. Blue yeah, you wanna town. kinda cut this up into cubes, basically. Take that off the heat. Now you're gonna chop your potatoes. And you don't have to take the skin off them or anything. Just chop, chop, chop. Is this chopped potato size okay? Let me. Yeah, whatever size you want it to be. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. 
Uh, okay, uh, you you do like two leaks then, I guess, based on the amount of size you have. Those are long leaks. Once we get here, real fat. Um, you know, it's in Japan. We it's all about length. Clearly, in America, it's all about girth. It's probably yeah. all that fast food, though. To be honest with you, it just adds to it. You're gonna cut these into rounds. Yeah, about there. You can seal this thing up and start cooking it, by the way. Okay. Do you have your um powdered bullion? Uh, yeah. yeah, you should be able to put that whole thing in there. I just read what Onibro wrote. He said he put the bread in between his legs under his Snuggie. So he says the bread might smell weird. Who the f*** says that, bro? We're trying to like make the most delicious, award-winning, self-cheesing bread. And this guy just goes like, yo, it might smell like ass. What if he didn't tell you and you're like, why is the smell so bad? And you blame me? <laughs> what if it's all be been like, a trick? Oh, it's the, it's the yeast gear. <laughs> I'm trying to make, get you to make fart bread, all right? Do you have a garlic head? Um, I have garlic. I don't have the bulbs garlic. I recently bought just like bulbs of it. Go ahead and smash four of those with the side of your knife. Just throw them in there. How long should I pressure cook this for? An hour? I would say maybe an hour and a half. Somewhere in there. Hour. So now we have to check the bread dough. Oh my God, it's warm. Oh my God, the bottom is warm. That is so... I had to Any smell the bread. bread just to make sure it's like, what if the fart permeated? You can take the dough out. We're gonna do we're gonna do the shaping time. You got the bread, the bread looks good, dough looks good. Um cheese. So let's see the cheese. Cut that into small cubes. Like baked it, like um, put it in a bowl, a little bit of butter in the bowl, and then put parchment paper over it. That would be fun. We have to get we have to get the asparagus. Butter in the pan, medium to low heat. A lot of garlic. Use so much garlic. <laughs> It's fantastic. I just grab a handful and go like, yeah, that looks all right. The other one. Loin this bread. one was already full when we started, so. That one looks all right. It's all right. It's not perfect. That looks great. I think it's done. It looks very, very like caramelized. Actually, is it okay if I sneak a taste? Yeah, do it. Go for it. Let's we'll see what it's like. Mmm, juicy. Is it good? Wait, we, we didn't salt it. You didn't salt it. I did say yeah. salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Butter in the pan. I said in the very beginning, I said salt and pepper, lemon, no. garlic. <laughs> I, I Everett don't, said I don't, he did. I don't recall. It's probably still pretty okay, but it's missing <laughs> salt is kind of boring, yeah. Pressurize a little? Ah! Oh, God. Did you just burn yourself? No. Oh, you left the lid on. I don't know if that's going to be good for it. Oh. If you don't let it expand, all the moisture gets trapped. It's, we'll see what happens. Well, why didn't you say nothing? It, it's it's, a, it's a square. It's a square loaf bread. Okay. Flip, Flip it over. Flip release that beast. Can you Ooh. tap the bottom? And does it sound hollow or does it sound thick? It does okay, sound that's, hollow. That does look good. It's an ingot of bread -nium. You've done it. Good. It's a it's a nice ore ingot, no? Like it's if this a, was like amalgamation, you know? It's yeah, like an alloy if this was like in Power World, you you can make like ten saddles with this, okay? It's it's, it's good. That's probably true. You want to do like a quarter of a cup of water in there to add steam to it. Butter the whole thing if you can. If you got a little just a little bit of butter in there, just kind of get it all over the sides and then uh just kind of toss that thing in. Yeah, brush it liberally, like just as much as you can. Butter it. So when when we get to about thirty minutes, we'll want to check on it and take the lid off of it and just leave it off. Ooh. That looks all right. I don't know what it's going to taste like. I've never used a pressure cooker for that short of a period of time. The meat might be a little tough, try but that's about it. correct in terms of the broth. Yeah, try it. Might be might be undercooked on the potato. Oh, oh my god. She's dying. The potato was too strong. Yum, yum. No, it's good. I think, I think it's good. I think it's really successful. Should we try cutting into the bread? Yeah, yeah, I think I it's a good idea. Tap it. has been 30 minutes. This is the moment of the truth, then. This is it. This is it. You got to see it. Don't be an egg inside. Ooh. Three, two... One. Not an egg. You did it perfect. Not an egg. So you see that? So look at that right there. See how it's got that nice holes going all the way through? Yeah. That means it had enough time to let the moisture out. I don't know how, because you compressed it into a cube, but it did it. It did it perfectly. This is great. Slice one piece off of it and just try it. Mm. It actually is so well seasoned that it's like a standalone piece of like sandwich. It's yeah, look at that cheese. Oh, that cheese pull. That way, that's actually go. so good. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna open the lid. It should look a little raw though, Chad. Just, so, just so you know, it's not like done, done, but. Yeah, look you're good? looking good. Yeah, hit it with the butter. See how it's got that browning spot there? Butter it over, just butter it all. Throw it around like a hockey puck. Yeah, just throw it all around. And now throw your uh, your salt on it. There you go. Yeah, now it's good. So now throw it back in to the uh, oven without a lid. Cause we're gonna brown that top. Said, right? Yeah, about 15 minutes. 
one's hot. Yeah. Oh, that's fluffy. That's a fluffy boy. Slice that baby right down the middle. How, what are you feeling in there? It's definitely really soft and luscious. It doesn't really feel like it's wet. Look at that. Ah, how's the crumb, chef? Perfect. So if you look at the crumb, see how it's wider, larger in certain spots now? Yeah. That's exactly the way. This bread works really well as like a, an extra for like soups and stuff too. So mm -hmm. with the beef stew, it's really good. You can actually dip it yeah. into the beef stew and it's yeah, great I was for that. Gonna dip this yeah. tomorrow that's gonna be fucking amazing yeah no this turned out to be really awesome actually I, I i dug this a lot it was cool it was cool watching somebody else bake my bread because you're i think you're the first person who's ever done it oh, i really? think you are yeah, I think you're the first other person who has tried to attempt the bread. It's one of those ones where it's like so many little things can go wrong, and you did it. Mm. You did it twice, too, so now yeah. you, you're definitely going to be able to make it anytime. <laughs> yeah. And here we have it, folks. We actually made Thor's super secret. Uh, definitely don't copy the recipe because the recipe is hidden. Uh, Self-cheesing grilled cheese, cheesy bread, ch ch cheese loaf. Did I say cheese enough times? Um, But it was super delicious. His stew, absolute banger. I'm going to eat the sh** this tomorrow. And the asparagus, obviously you can't go wrong with the asparagus dudes. But Thor, thank you so much for joining me. I will leave his link in the description down below. Find him everywhere. <laughs> Make sure to watch his Twitch, watch his YouTube, watch his shorts, watch everything. Go buy his merch, do everything. Go support him. Um, and smash the like button, smash the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, smash your mom. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.